so here he was our meditation for today it was really like a contemplation more than anything like it it puts you in the place of like considering or opening up for the idea of freedom and um where do you find that where can you find that like an answer to that or where do you where do you come in touch with your freedom and so that's it's great to be confronted with it especially when you feel stuck <laughs> uh, it, it works just as well um, it's like where where is that taking place what what do i need to do to in order to get there or to to do that or to what's well, not a getting it's not a performance it's not a doing it's but what is it you know so what is freedom that is the question so that's also one of the questions i would love to share yeah ask you like what do you think freedom is and guess what i made i made an uh, what you call that a whiteboard for it and you can write in what means freedom f to you it's like we we start with you and not with lofty words or anything or beautiful ideas but just like what means freedom to you and there will be more there will be more whiteboard <laughs> so now you're prepared um, this is great so in the preparation to this class you received a PDF and if you didn't receive it I can still send it to you and it told you say uh, references with the idea of freedom uh, maybe I'll take a look at that later with you. Um, now it is like, okay, so what is what is freedom, and um, yeah, how how do you get to that, so to speak? What what how do you do this? How do you do freedom? Like we cannot see this uh, this yeah we see this in the frame of the twelve um, say the twelve steps that we take in this cycle in this circle and um, starting with determination remember perseverance and then forgiveness um, leaving everything behind forgiving the past letting it go um, yeah becoming say clean with with our backyard with our past um, seeing that that actually brings up feelings of gratitude like so happy to leave things uh, instead of dragging them with me i do this very quick i know so the next thing then is um, gratitude um, the thing then that follows is light you start to experience light you start to see that there's a possibility for you to enter into uh, different aspects of your consciousness suddenly there's more possible you experience peace and um, you experience peace so I see a text I have to okay so that's all right that's that's fine you can just chat me and chat and I'll put it on the whiteboard we can practice this one day um, so having all these aspects 
say after you forgive literally if you if you take a look at what we did like we forgive the relationships that had conflict the things that happened that you think you did to others or others did to you that is being brought to you back to you being the source of what you see recognizing that you're the source of what you see like perception has has a cause that is you like starts here you're the one perceiving it that way and there's a different way to look at everything sure but taking full responsi responsibility for what you see bringing it back to yourself um, forgiving that literally letting it go because you actually discover it is over why am i still dragging this with me there's no necessity for me to to drag my guilt and my ideas about myself because this li is literally over it is gone so dislodging ourselves from the, the linear time that we're so used to like the objective reality that we said the other day is like a, an objective reality that we think we're in with with objects with a timeline with a an birth and a death and an in-between thing with some people being enemies and some friends and you know your own place the central figure in this dream world is your body and all this like you forgive all of that you literally allow yourself to come into a whole new idea that is not of your own making because you can say whatever you want but the world you see and your idea about yourself was made up by you so far until you saw there's another opportunity so recognizing that you are the source of what you perceive is in fact a huge step in the direction of freedom so now you can relinquish it you can let it go you can give it up like your your, your whole story can collapse now like you can give that up you don't have to no longer to uphold it or confirm it to yourself the reality of it or um, trying to hold it together you don't have to do that imagine what an incredible energy is released when you are giving that up so you decide and uh, yeah you discover you see where this takes place in mind that was also one of the steps you you see where this takes place and recognizing that that is not all of your mind because there is also the mind with the capital m the mind of god the wholeness of god that can that you're actually you are actually the effect of god so as this world appears to be the effect of you god is the source of you is literally your is your source so you're the effect of it and that means a lot of things we saw that the other day too it's like that means a lot of things because you did not create god but god did create you in his likeness and perfection and wholeness recognizing that that occurred um, letting that come into your consciousness as an idea as an as an acceptance of that you see that um, you come in touch like with these new experiences of you in your new mind in fact um, free of the past because you forgive and um, say deeply coming in touch with moments of peace and light and joy and seeing that this joy wants to extend into the kingdom like giving your love back to God and extending that into the kingdom you discover a whole new consciousness that is actually living through you giving you all the opportunities you have to extend into you extend the light into your world and um, give you lots of opportunities to do so but it doesn't stop there so then 
um, you come to the the freedom of yeah in fact the freedom of choice you you don't have then at that point you don't have to make a decision anymore it's like it's literally god being my source extends through me into this world i don't have to make up how that looks like or what that's supposed to mean or what i'm supposed to do no that extends through me in my recognition of my source you know of my purpose and source and um, seeing that that works perfectly allowing that to become my certainty um, you see that all of that starts to grow in you in your consciousness and um, giving you opportunities that you had no idea about but literally you're you don't have in that sense you don't have a um, uh, a real self-interest anymore like that that seems to dissipate like that disappears um, and and this is yeah the relinquishment effect of of the selfhood that you made you don't live your life of yourself anymore like it's really interesting you you come into an extension that's happening through you and that determines which way you go like you don't have to decide for that at that point anymore so i'm speaking from my own experience in this and and seeing that whole process evolve in front of my eyes literally it's like things that i would uh, look at uh, you could see it like this like <clears throat> as as a human being you're constantly uh, redefining yourself you you come up with definitions of yourself like oh, yeah, i am actually more this kind of person or i'm more that kind of person or i i'm actually more like this or more like that and constantly you adjust that self-image uh, you probably recognize that in yourself too depending to whom you're talking you're actually um you're actually redefining yourself continuously reinventing you could say like i'm reinventing myself all the time and and defining it too so you 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 build an image of yourself and you start to defend it as a human being you literally start to say like now i'm more like this person i'm having that study i live in that neighborhood i have this um, partner i uh, have this kind of work and this is me and you try to hold on to that image and no matter what happens you try to you know be that while this is of course not you and you actually know it too continuously you feel like well it's not completely me i'm just also pretending like you admit your own corruption in that sense in the doing so this is really interesting without um, say um, attempts to let that image collapse uh, without attempts to give up that idea but instead holding on to it so this is really interesting because you have ideas about yourself you look at yourself you have ideas about yourself and and to compare it with um, the animal kingdom for instance like yeah name any animal a chicken a chicken he does not have ideas about himself like he doesn't have to he's just a chicken and he knows he's a chicken you know it's like <laughs> there's there's no consideration or doubt there's no um, identity crisis uh, uh, connected to it. it it just is what it is a chicken and it does what it does like what chickens do it is really like this you know and and that is different with human beings so we are this high intelligent species that is like way above the animal kingdom but we're actually in doubt about who we are continuously redefining ourselves and reinventing ourselves like no tomorrow <laughs> and, and this is interesting to to watch this happen and uh, seeing myself go through and continual say reinvention of myself up, up to the point that i 
see that I don't have to do this anymore. But I start to come into the giving up of that self-image continuously, letting go of any ideas I held about myself before, forgiving myself literally of doing that, of um, thinking that I need to define myself in order to be someone or to be myself. See, this is this is the the, in fact, the confusion reinventing myself because I think that I need to define myself otherwise I, I would be nothing so this is this is great so in coming back then to your cause and effect relationship like if God is your cause and he created you as an effect of him in his perfect likeness and it's in perfection in his likeness, in, in the love that you are and that he is, and you see that there's no need to define yourself. There's also no need, once you're in this, in this extension of yourself, there's also no need to observe yourself or to have ideas about yourself. That is the great thing. You're suddenly free of your self-definition. You know what I'm saying? It's like that is that's totally amazing. Suddenly that you discover for yourself that that is so. And uh, the most beautiful thing then is is all the energy that's in fact available to you by not having to protect yourself or defend yourself. Seeing that that really literally changes your whole energy uh, of yourself. In fact, you don't get tired anymore. And um, yeah, that is that is one of the side effects, so, so to speak, like it's, you don't get tired because you don't have to be anything else. Like you don't have to you, you're literally free of performance. Like we said in the in the uh, meditation, you become free of performance. You don't have to perform a certain way uh, to make something happen or to be someone. No, you just be yourself. You just relax into that, continuously letting go of any kind of definition of yourself, seeing that that works perfectly and that nothing is lost at all. So I think I made that point. That's that's an essential part in this uh, in this what we're what we're looking at. So you need to say so you need to discover this for yourself in order to become free of your self-definition. Now that sounds very conceptually even acceptable, right? That's pretty amazing. All right, so then um, talking about this relinquishment, uh, I need your uh, pencils and uh, text and whatever again um, for this new whiteboard. What do you want to relinquish right now? Where do you want to get rid of right now? What do you want to give up right now? All right, so I'm going to read some of this, or all of it. One is doubt, relinquishing doubt. Being responsible for everything and everyone around me. I would love to relinquish that right now. I would love to relinquish illusion. And myself. my human sense of existence, my need to know what it's going to look like, all the illusion of the past, believing I need to do something to make something happen, overwhelming fear, The idea that the past needs to be explained or corrected. 
relinquishing what there is to do.